every living organism on planet Earth is made up of four nucleotides and 20 standard amino acids. And yet, these have been able to form over a billion unique species. This is the diversity of life. Vampire bats. Vampire bats are unique in two ways. Not only are they bats, the only mammals capable of flight, but they are also the only mammals that survive on a strict diet of blood. This trait is known as hematography, or a sangivorous diet. As for their evolution, there are three species of monophyletic vampire bats. They share so many similarities that the blood diet is thought to have evolved only once from a common ancestor in the American leaf-nosed bat family. All three species of vampire bats are found in Central and South America, specifically Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. They do not, despite the myth, live in Transylvania. The myth probably comes from Bram Stoker's novel Dracula, with Dracula the Transylvanian vampire who is able to tra transform into a bat. If you want to see these bats up close, you can tour the Tamana Bat Cave on the island of Trinidad. Like most bats, they are nocturnal and prefer to sleep upside down on cave ceilings. Vampire bats contain specialized heat sensors on its nose, necessary to locate the most efficient spot on an animal to drink from. They also have special saliva, which contain a natural anticoagulant, useful for feeding. And it could also be used in the future for humans to help prevent heart attacks. The vampire's bat's front teeth, the canines and incisors, are razor sharp and can pierce skin practically painlessly, but it can also cause infectious disease. This isn't exactly sucking blood, it's more like lapping it up, which they do for half an hour while the animal remains asleep. National Geographic reports that in one year, a 100 bat colony can drink the blood of 25 cows. This group feeding allows for a re reciprocal altruism. The better fed bats will regurgitate blood, as disgusting as that sounds, for the hungrier bats. This creates strong family ties, which results in another unique characteristic. Vampire bats are the only bats that are willing to adopt orphan bats. Unfortunately, while cows, horses, and pigs are their natural targets, they have also been reported feasting on human blood. And if that isn't scary enough, vampire bats have evolved the unique ability to run on land, flinging their thumb-sized body up to 5 miles per hour with their forelimbs. The bats that have been shown are the common vampire bat, also known as Desmodus rotundus. The other two are distinct in that they feed mostly on bird blood. The white-winged vampire bat, Diamus youngi, while not as proficient at ground travel as the common vampire bat, has an easier time climbing branches. If you ever see these species, notice the white-winged tips. Be careful though, because they have found to carry rabies. They can also amid a squirt of liquid leaving a skunk-like odor. The hairy-legged vampire bat, Diphila ikadata, is more of a loner, that is, more willing to spend time alone than in groups. Counterintuitively, these bats have excellent vision, but poorly developed echolocation. They can see juicy cattle over a football field away. In addition to these species, there are also a number of false vampire bats. The largest carnivorous bat in the world is known as the spectral bat, even though it has a wingspan of 3 feet, it can still be pretty stealthy. It will either pounce on prey from a high branch or from its patrol along forest edges. Along with the ghost bat, it will produce only one pup per year. An interesting thing to note that the villain goth of the Silverwing series has been stated to be a spectral bat. Of the family known as false vampire bats, Megadermatidae, there are four that stand out. The ghost bat, as I've mentioned before, Macroderma gigas, so named because of the thin membrane of its wings, makes it appear spooky and ghost-like, especially at night. They reside in Australia, and they are the only carnivorous bat species there. Their large ears are used for long-range echolocation, and their sharp teeth are used to eat frogs and other small animals. After the ghost bat kills its prey with a powerful bite, it flies back to eat at a feeding perch. There is also a pair of lesser and greater false vampire bats, Although Megaderma spasma looks similar, it is in fact an insectivore. The Megaderma lyra has a relatively larger body size and eats more than just insects, going after small mammals and reptiles as well. Neither of these species have tails. The last notable Megadermatidae bat, the yellow-winged bat, 
lives in forests in Kenya. Finally, there is the woolly false vampire bat. These bats are second to the spectral bat to being the largest carnivorous species of bat. Because of this, they fly unusually slow and close to the ground. To maintain their weight, they will eat a varied diet of fruits, small mammals, insects, and even other bats. That's it for this video, but there are plenty of other bat species to be examined and the culture surrounding them to be explored.